Hun Sen is elected prime minister. Cambodia's foreign ministry strongly rejected the U.S. House representative statement. Consider Mr. Hun Sen is the longest leader without Cambodia people's will through the democratic elections. Cambodia calls U.S. House drafted law related to Cambodia with sanction on the top Cambodia's official is Cambodian sovereignty violation. On 15 July 2019, the drafted law is unanimously adopted to headlong press some irritable sanctions on senior official of kingdom by U.S. House. Those people whose names were in the list, including Premier, his generals, his sons, and doctor, some tycoons, along with many senior officials, and all are 17 people. In accounting to the law, U.S. sanction 2019 is to freeze their worthy properties and to do not grant their visas to enter the U.S. territory. Ministry of Foreign Statements indicated how the U.S. was illogically confused about the duration of Hun Sen in power. Ministry falsifies each election of Cambodia since 1998 was appointed by majority votes to prove Hun Sen to be Prime Minister of Cambodia by the aim of people wills. Moreover, ministry believed the eyes of witnesses from international election observer consider Cambodia has held a democratic election. More in 2018, there were about 83% of all the voters in list came to polling station together to create that democratic event. Hence, Prime Minister Hun Sen got a chance to gain one more mandate for ruling the country. All of the description above regards the traffic law of U.S. how is not reasonable with Cambodia's current situation on how the democracy is implemented. Besides, Cambodia Ministry of Foreign also explained about press freedom, which recently reopened voice of America's office in Cambodia, as well as freedoms of expression by the name of Cambodia, the heaven of civil society. Mr. Kamsakar's arrest and dissolution of main opposition party CNOP were also to amount the statement clues of Cambodia Foreign Ministry. Kamsakar has been arrested after the accusation related to conspiracy his own country with foreigners, USA, following criminal code, the article 443. In this regard, Cambodia implements their constitutional and status principle as a rule of law. Over and above that, ministry still confirms that good cooperation between U.S. and Cambodia. The confirmation of Cambodia illustrates the in-depth research U.S. troops died on Cambodia showed the Vietnam War and supported the U.S. Peace Corps. Promptly, the law is approved. Sam Rangsi, acting president of ex party CNOP, interview with Khmer Bioe that he is pleased about the U.S. action. He believes the stance for change would be in agenda of Cambodian ruling party. On the other hand, his repatriation would be coming by September, as he said, the time is ripe. Otherwise, nothing can help to restore the removal of EU favorable tax, everything but arms, EBA from Cambodia. Particularly, many national observers see the political issue in Cambodia after CNOP dissolution, which given a country have no opposition party to compete in 2018 election, even if there are many parties established once after another. Believe it or not, observers say there is no real opposition party in Cambodia parliament and draw Cambodia into one party. Today, Cambodia's parliament is full of 125 seats whose representatives are all from one party, ruling party CPP. Finally, Foreign Ministry statement ended with its commitment to carry out the rule of law, multi-liberal democracy, and respects the freedom best in accordance to Cambodian constitutions. From Panika 7 Info.